All right, joined now by uh, Senior Senator Sam Morton. Sam, your thoughts on the series St. Cloud State, and then we got CCHA action here at the rink with Bowling Green coming here this weekend. Your comments on that? Uh, super excited for this weekend. Um, hopefully we can get some points in, uh, in conference games. I thought we had a lot of good things that came out of St. Cloud. Like, we were playing well for the most part, but just got to clean up some details and um, limit our breakdowns and defend a little harder. Um, but, yeah, super excited for this weekend to start conference play. Yeah, thanks for that. Kevin, we'll start with you. Sam, as part of the leadership group, I'm sure you know you've got your pulse on how got the guys have responded this week in practice to the sweep. What's your opinion of, of how practice has gone so far? It's been high pace, high intensity, um, a lot of attention to detail. I think we're just trying to get back to our basement and kind of make sure we're following our identity and doing all the little things that make us successful um, and just building our habits so that they show up on the weekend. Um, through a 60 minute, maybe 65 minute game. Carson Bulow, do you have a question? Yeah, Sam, a phrase that I hear you know, Mike Jacksonings talk about a lot is taking pride in defending home ice. Can you talk a little bit about that and you know, maybe playing that and like in the atmosphere of playing at the Mayo, especially in front of a CCHA opponent? Yeah, ever since I've been in here, our building has been electric. It's a super fun atmosphere to play in front of. So. Obviously, you don't want to let down the people who are coming to watch you play. And then you kind of also want teams to fear coming into our building. You know what I mean? So if we can have that reputation of being good, obviously, we want to be good on the road. But if we can have that reputation of being good at home, um, I think it only benefits us. And uh, it's just like defending our reputation. You know, obviously, we take pride in playing in front of our fans. And obviously, we want to do well. Yeah, we're still looking for a nickname for the rink, uh, Carson. Maybe it'll be the Mayo. That's a good one right there. It changes every couple of years. So. Changes every couple. Of years. <laughs> Hopefully, we're we'll be in this one for a while. <laughs> Don Westfall, do you have a question? Sam, you're off to such a fantastic start this year. Did you approach the off season after last year any differently, or anything specifically you can attribute to uh, as you entered this season, and why you're off to such a quick start? Uh, I'd say a little bit. You know, like the off season, always you're trying to work on your body and eat well and get in the gym and get stronger. But I think this summer I definitely took it a little bit more seriously in the past, uh, just staying here and working with our strength coach and um, trying to be as strict as I could at following a meal plan. Um, so yeah, I'd say I took it a little bit more seriously. I mean, obviously like, you know, you wanna be doing that stuff as soon as you can. And looking back, maybe I could have done it sooner, but like, yeah, I definitely took it a little more seriously last summer. Going into the this summer, you know, you mentioned you made that change. Was there anything that, that kind of sparked it, um, whether it was, you know, the looking to make more a jump to pro hockey sooner or, or something that happened last year? What, what kind of sparked that, uh, that change for you? I think going into senior year, you realize how quickly college flies by. So kind of just looking at it and being like, I've got one more year to kind of do something with my game and elevate it to where I can play at the next level. And then also – um, you got to fill gaps with the guys who graduate. So um, our junior, sophomore, freshman class, they all have to make steps. So just recognizing that there's responsibilities that need to be filled. And as a senior, I think you hold a lot of that responsibility. Do you have another one, Kevin? Um, yeah, we can go one more. Um, I think adding adding weight you've mentioned was, was one of uh, your goals. I know you guys have the body fat testing that you do. Talk about how hard it is to add good weight without putting on body fat. It's really challenging. You got to be really disciplined in what you're eating. Um, thankfully, our strength coach will give us a uh, a meal plan where you can kind of edit it to foods that you like, and he's got all the calories listed and the carbs, the fats, the proteins, the fiber, all that stuff listed for the majority of good foods that you should be putting in your body. Um, so that that part makes it easier in just terms of counting what you're eating. But yeah, it's hard not to to fall off of that plan. Um, and I think the biggest thing is just being consistent with it. And, um, yeah, it's just every day, seven days a week, you got to be pretty strict on that diet plan. Carson, one final question from you. Yeah, Sam, it seemed like last weekend's series against St. Cloud, uh, they're obviously super close. They were one goal games, and St. Cloud's goal seemed to come in first. But did you feel like, you know, from a player's perspective, there was maybe one little key thing maybe as a team you guys missed out on that cause that or something that you can turn 
turn due to trends like now heading into this weekend against Bowling Green? I think one thing we focused on, uh, especially this week, is just owning the front of our net. So owning the creases and five feet outside the front of our nets, um, just making sure we're not lo losing battles in that area in our D zone so that we can protect our net and then winning our battles in front of their net and just taking pride in that area of the ice. Sam, thanks very much. Good luck against the Falcons this weekend. Thank you.